Good morning, Your Honors. Good morning to everyone in the courtroom. This is case number IT 9829-1T, the prosecutor versus Dragomir Milosevic. And I will ask for the appearances. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honors. For the prosecution, Yasmina Vozniakovic, Caroline Edgerton, Maxim Marcus, Manoj Sachdiva, and John Doherty, and I'm Stephen Wesley. Thank you. And for the defense? Good morning, Your Honors, defense. Branislav Tapuskovic and co-counsel Branislava Isailovic. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tapuskovic. Today, the chamber delivers its judgment in this case. In accordance with the tribunal practice, I will render a summary of the judgment. This case is about the siege of Sarajevo. The evidence discloses an horrific tale of the encirclement and entrapment of a city over a period of approximately 15 months and its bombardment by the forces of the Sarajevo Romania Corps, also known as the SRK, under the command of General Dragomir Milosevic, the accused. In many places, the SRK positions overlooked the positions of the Army of Bosnian Herzegovina, the ABIH, thus providing the SRK with strategic points around the city. The evidence shows that during that 15-month period, the SRK from commanding positions on the hills of Sarajevo carried out a campaign of sniping and shelling that resulted in injury to and death of a great number of civilians in the city of Sarajevo. The accused has been charged with war crimes and crimes against humanity. The prosecution led evidence that Dragomir Milosevic, as commander of the SRK, carried out a campaign of shelling and sniping of civilians, civilian areas, and the civilian population of Sarajevo. This campaign was conducted by Bosnian Serb forces comprising or attached to the SRK or affiliated with the armed forces of the Republika Srpska. It alleged that the attacks were deliberate, were indiscriminate, excessive, and disproportionate in relation to the anticipated concrete and direct military advantage. Further, according to the prosecution, the alleged campaign had the primary purpose of spreading terror within the civilian population of Sarajevo. The main defense arguments were that during the entire conflict in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the area of Sarajevo and its environs was the theater of serious conflict and heavy fighting. Accordingly, the defense argued that Sarajevo as a whole and certain neighborhoods of the city could not be considered a civilian area. The existence of an armed conflict was also central to the defense case. It argued that the intensity of the conflict showed that the activities of the SRK were a necessary and legitimate response to activities of the ABIH and did not, as argued by the prosecution, constitute a deliberate attack against the civilian population. The defense also argued that many deaths and injuries during the conflict resulted directly from the high level of intensity of combat activities. The trial chamber finds that the evidence that was led in three scheduled incidents 
was insufficient to establish that the origin of fire was SRK held territory. The remaining scheduled incidents were all proven. The trial chamber, after reviewing the evidence, rejects the defense submission on the status of Sarajevo, and the reasons for this decision are set out in the judgment. The SRK used a number of means to effect its campaign. It employed highly skilled and trained snipers using rifles with telescopic sights. It used mortars to shell the city, and perhaps the worst feature of the campaign was the use of modified air bombs. Worst because the bombs were inaccurate and served no military purpose. The SRK targeted the city with indiscriminate shelling. The evidence shows that the ABIH did not have or use modified air bombs. Only the SRK possessed and used them. Of the 15 scheduled shelling incidents, 11 involved the use of these modified air bombs. The effect of the modified air bombs was overwhelming <clears throat> in terms of injuries, deaths, destruction, and the psychological impact on the civilian population. To give an example, referring to a modified air bomb exploded in Sokolovici, W82 stated that, and here I quote, they could have coped with the sniping and shelling of the neighborhood until the air bomb landed on the 23rd of July, 1995. End of quote. Now, while the evidence shows that there were lulls in fighting between the armies and in the shelling of the city, it also shows that there was a constant level of sniping. In this respect, a witness, John Jordan, recalled that in nice weather, and here I quote, people came out, made it a target-rich environment, and the snipers got busy, end of quotation. The very role of snipers requires that any shot they take is deliberate intended to kill or seriously injure the target. I cite again John Jordan, who said he responded to a number of incidents over the years in Sarajevo, where one member, often the youngest member of a family, was shot. It was his view that, here I quote, when you're targeting civilians like this, particularly families who may or may not be Muslim, shooting the child has the effect of literally disemboweling the whole family." End of quote. The trial chamber admitted into evidence video footage <coughs> depicting a slowly moving unprofor armored personnel carrier, sheltering people behind it from sniper fire. When shown to witness Martin Bell, he remarked that this was one of the iconic images of the war, and he said, and here I quote, the French were trying to bring confidence to the people and a degree of security down there. They instituted this idea of the slowly moving armored vehicle with the people sheltering. And I think it conveys, it conveys probably more than any single sniping incident 
the daily perils of the people in the city. End of quotation. <laughs>